AI. AI. The rise of AI. Welcome back, team. So today we're talking about the big bad AI. As I've talked about before, it's coming for our jobs, but it's also a very useful tool for us photographers to make some extra money. And that's exactly what we're talking about today, specifically in the real estate photography market. So what I wanna show you is a tool that I use to turn my real estate images into videos. And this is by utilizing the power of AI. Now, remember, like I've said in previous videos, there's certain aspects of photography that are going to go away because of the rise of AI and AI images. But there's certain aspects that aren't going anywhere. And that's where, as photographers, like I said, we can utilize these tools to actually benefit us and make us more money and create more opportunities. So let's jump into the laptop and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So this is what we're talking about. Amplifiles. And what Amplifiles does is, as you can see, turn listings into real estate videos that sell homes faster. Create stunning videos from your listing photos in minutes. So in other words, it takes your real estate photos and it turns them into videos by using AI and applying different movement to the images. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna jump in and show you the whole process of taking some listing images and turning them into an AI listing video. So we'll jump into my studio. All right, so as you'll see, we got the hunting one I did from the last video. And before we jump in and make a new one, I just wanna say thanks to Amplifiles for sponsoring today's video. Obviously they're a service I use, so happy to have them sponsor today's video. Thank you, Amplifiles. And now we will jump into new video. So what you'll see in here is you can click to upload images, but you can also upload from a listing site. So if you have a previous client or someone who has a listing up already, as you'll see, you can bring them in from all the main real estate listing sites and it will automatically bring in those real estate images so you can start creating them into a video. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna click upload. We're gonna get our files that I've got here from a recent shoot and we're just gonna bring those in. It will now upload all the images into their site. All right, so what you'll see here is it's brought all the images in for me. I think there's 11. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rearrange them to how I want them. So all we do is drag and drop these little dots on the side here. So I want that drone shot to be my opening shot. So I'm gonna drag that up to the top. That's now gonna be my opening shot. And then we're probably gonna go for something like that. For our second shot, nice open lounge. Third shot, we'll go for a bedroom, which we've got there, so we'll just leave that one. We've got a bathroom, another bedroom. Nice, we've got a nice little yard shot out the back. Then we've got kitchen. So what we'll do is we'll move that up to there. So then we're inside, inside, and then we come outside and we've got the yard, we've got a drone shot. So what we wanna do is we wanna finish on these drone shots at dusk in our video. So we're gonna drag these up. I'll actually put the stair shot right up here at the start because that is at the entrance of the property. We'll bring this bedroom shot up and we'll put that in here. Then we go outside then we'll finish with these two drone shots. So once we've got the images where we want them and in the order that we want them, that's where we come here and we decide what movement we want to have on the image. So I'll probably leave that one as push in just because of the type of image. I want it to be pushing in. Um, if you go here, you'll see we've got four options, push in, rotate, track right and track left. So for this second one, I'm probably gonna go tracking right to the left. So we'll click that, and that's gonna do that on that image. Then we go to the next one. What animation do we want on that? Because it's a big wide lounge shot, 
I'm going to go rotate. And what I like to do is I just sort of like to mix it up so it, it blends together nicely, different movements. You don't want the same movement on every image. Um, we'll go push in again. And the one thing you can do after the fact with the push in is there is a little toggle to reverse it. So it will then pull out instead of push in. So that's something to think about. So I'll leave that as push in and then I'll potentially reverse that one. So I'm going to go left to right on the bathroom. Then I'm going to go back to rotate on that one. You don't need to overthink this too much. I'm going to leave that as push in. Like I said, it's all movement. It just depends on what you want it to do. That's probably a good right to left one there. Front on shot of the bedroom. I'm going to go rotate on that. We'll go push in on the drone shot. And then I'll probably leave that one as push in, but I'll reverse it so it pushes out um, after the fact. <laughs> So we've got all that locked in. We've got the images, how we want them, the orientation of them, what goes where. We've selected the movement that we want in each image. So then the next thing we can do is we can jump over here to the voiceover. So this is where you can go through and select a voiceover. So as you can see here, there's all different languages. So depending on where you're at, in the world you can find a language to suit um we'll try william step back in time in this beautifully preserved farmhouse set on 10 rolling acres with a clap who else have we got archer Let's see what he sounds like find your sanctuary in this serene woodland cabin offering panoramic for i think we'll go with archer so we'll select archer and all we want to do is you don't have to do this stuff if you just want a basic video then you don't do all the voiceover and stuff but it's a nice little feature that you can add on so what i'm going to do here is type in what i want archer to say so i'll just quickly do this we'll say nestled in the heart of is this new three bedroom two bathroom two story townhouse with lake and mountain views is the ultimate place to relax and watch the sun go down behind the mountains. And obviously that's playing on the fact that there's some sunset images in there. And you can also add captions if you want. So you go default style and it'll put captions on the video. So generate voiceover. And that will then turn what we wrote into a voiceover for our video. So that's added to the video. We can then select some background music. So what we want to go for is a nice, uplifting, peaceful sound for this one. Um, perfect. Add that. Done. So that's our music done. Last thing we can do here is fade out the outro and put a logo in. So I will add my bright imagery logo in there and that'll put that at the end for me. So then we go back to our images and double check and we've got everything done. We've got animate images. And the good thing about Amplifiles is there's no subscriptions. There's no ongoing payments. You just pay for what you need and what you use. You buy their credits for each image that you want to make. So it's an easy way, like I said, to upsell it to clients because it costs a certain amount every time you can then upsell that to clients put your amount on top and it's just a great product to like i said upsell and sort of back sell from previous clients whose houses you've shot that's another great thing about it is for the people that don't like subscriptions because everything's subscription based now the team at amplifiles have gone the other route which we actually all love and that's just paying for what you use paying for the service that you need when you need it not having to be on a monthly subscription like everything else these days all right so here we go it's ran through all the images are done so what we're going to do is we're just going to reverse a couple so that one should be on pushing in so we'll reverse that um i think that was it what we might do is i just thought something else we'll just add on here sun go down behind the mountains well 
enjoying your favorite beverage on the sun-soaked deck. So then we're going to generate voiceover, so it updates that. So if we go back over here, we should be able to preview it. So if I press play, and these previews are just like a quick cut. It's not the final product. Once you download the video, that's kind of your final product. It renders out when you download it. So let's just watch that, and we'll see where we're at. Nestled in the heart of Wanaka is this new three-bedroom, two-bathroom, two-story townhouse. With lake and mountain views, it is the ultimate place to relax and watch the sun go down behind the mountains while enjoying your favourite beverage on the sun-soaked deck. So as you can see, it's pretty impressive, man, what it does. It's actually kind of mind-blowing. And again, this is AI. This is how we can utilize it with stuff like this. So that's taken me five minutes to do that. Put those images in, pick how I want them to move. I've done the voiceover, picked the first music that popped up, added my logo on the end. And that's what I mean. Like these tools can make us money because it's so easy to do and it's utilizing images that you already have. And the good thing about it is real estate images always pop more than like real estate videos. Real estate videos, are, you're always dealing with log footage and it can be hard to get crisp and colorful like your images. So that's the other part I like about it is it really, it really pops. It's really vibrant. So as we can see here, We've got the landscape version, and then we can also preview the mobile version. Of Wanaka is this new three-bedroom, two-bathroom, two-story townhouse with lake and mountain views. I won't watch it through again, but you get the idea. So you do get vertical versions as well with each one, and that's the cool part is you pay the one-time price with the credits, and you can also go back in and you can change stuff. So you can crop in. You can move images around. So for instance, if we want to go to this first image, if we want to crop that a bit, we can go in here and say, oh, actually, you know, I don't want the, whatever it might be on the right-hand side, I can bring that in and crop that out. And that's actually going to move my image, how it moves in the video. So it's pretty cool what you can do. And like I said, it's very impressive with what it, what it produces they're 1080 hd videos and obviously being ai you know you may get some little artifacts here and there but it actually works very flawlessly i've i'm very impressed with it and it is a great tool so obviously once you've done that you use your credits to animate the images all you've got to do then is hit download and as you'll see, it says rendering video. So that's when it actually renders it properly and downloads it to your computer. And then you go to the mobile version or the vertical one and you do the same again and it will render that and download it. Like I said, there's no extra fees involved. It's just pay with the credits one time. I think it works out to $1.50 US per image is what it costs. So you only pay for however many images you want to render and animate. You know, you might do five for a house just for a little quick one. It's up to you how much you pay based on what you need the site or the software to do. As you can see up here, it's downloading now to my computer and then I'll have that full file ready to go, which I'll show you in a second. But that gives you a quick rundown on how to make the videos with the software, with the tool that is Amplifiles. It's an amazing tool, man. It's like I said, this is why we have to embrace AI as photographers because there's things out there like this that can make us more money quite easily. So I'll quickly put up the final video right now and we'll watch it through. Nestled in the heart of Wanaka is this new three bedroom, two bathroom, two story townhouse. With lake and mountain views, it is the ultimate place to relax and watch the sun go down behind the mountains while enjoying your favorite beverage on the sun soaked deck.
So how good's that? How easy is that? Very simple, very straightforward, and a good way to make some more money with your real estate. The best use case for this software is for those clients who don't want to spend the money for you to film a real estate video, which as we know, takes a lot of gear and a lot of time and a lot of editing. This is a way where you can add it as a quick upsell on top of your real estate photos. And it's basically just, you know, say you're utilizing AI to make real estate videos out of the images that you potentially already taken of their property. You can price it accordingly. You'll be surprised at how many clients will jump on this over a full video. So that gives you an idea of some AI that you can utilize in your real estate photography business. So check out Amplifiles, embrace this AI software and put it into your real estate photography offering. And I think you'll be surprised at how many clients will go for these types of videos going forward. So remember, it's not all doom and gloom when it comes to AI. There is tools like this out there that we can utilize as photographers to benefit from. So thank you again to Amplifiles for sponsoring today's video. Go and check them out. And I hope this helps guys. Go out there and smash it. Like I said, utilize the technology. Don't be afraid of it. Keep pushing forward and keep on shooting. We'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks heaps for watching. I appreciate everybody. You. See ya.